We're going to make some really cute little Christmas street lights. And you just very simply put in this little battery operated candle and there you go. Pop on the lid. Nice. You could actually put a real candle in the top and just leave the lid off. So some pretty simple supplies, a little drip tray, a little terracotta drip tray, a bud vase, and this is a little sugar bowl or candy dish. I'm not sure which it was. It was pretty little, I think too little for candy, so it must be for sugar. So we're gonna make three of them today just to show some variations. And so here is just a different bud vase, uh, the same terracotta drip tray, and just a bigger candy dish. Just so you can see the different results you can get. Just be mindful of the base of the sugar bowl that it has to attach to the bud vase. So just watch for how uneven the base is. So I did paint them consistently black. I used Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Black. Just have a look. If you have a wider mouth vase, then you can spray down into the inside. Uh, if you don't, then spray the outside. And then I painted also the inside of the lids. I had this black vase. It was already black. I was like, I wanted to use it, but it's kind of bumpy top on the top. I don't know how to explain that, but you can see it clearly there that it's not going to have a good uh, fit to the sugar bowl. I painted both sides of the terracotta drip tray as well. Uh, this one I painted the inside and the inside of the lid. I like painting the insides whenever possible just to get a better finish. And I'm just trying out my brand new Gorilla Gun and it's working great so far. I also have Gorilla Glue in there. A little dab of E6000 would be good too. Just go around the perimeter that's gonna touch the drip tray, hot glue it and set it down. And the same goes for the top. Be a little generous with the glue because the bottom of the sugar bowl or the candy dish, in this case, is a little bit bumpy. Then pop your little candle in there Put the lid on and look at that, how cute. Just pop that little finger down below and hit subscribe. We love your support. Thank you. And on to the next one. I've already pre-painted the drip tray, the bud vase, and the lid. But I wanted to show that you can do it in different scale and size. This sugar bowl or candy dish, I don't even know what it is, is quite small. And I wanted to mention I got all these thrift shopping. I didn't buy anything new. Tell you this has got to be the easiest craft I've done in a really long time. A little bit of paint and a little glue and wow, I think I whipped this up in like half an hour. It was so easy. I just discovered these battery operated tea lights. Like look how glowy it is. It's just so cute and it works great and it's perfectly safe. I love it. And now just to add a little embellishment, I'm just using some ribbon here. I want to add a little red. To me, red is so Christmassy, but you can use any color you like. Accessorize to match your decor. I just glued together three little loops and I just stacked them up. And due to the scale of the project, I have to make little things be more proportional to the size of the project. So I'm just going to cut off a little embellishments off a bigger pick and I'm just going to glue them onto the ribbon. Just have this mini wreath from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to push that over the top and we can center this in the middle of a little wreath. Now I'm just going to assemble my little mini pick that I'm making myself, just adding on some gold leaves behind and I'm off centering them. And then I'll do the same with the little smaller leaves when I put them in the middle. I think it needs a little something something so I'm just adding some berries in the middle. I just looked at my stash and I found this little embellishment so I'm just going to add a little red ribbon behind. Last one I'm just gluing a few little bits together. I even questioned whether I should even have the gold on there or just put a little red ribbon. In fact I think I would have preferred maybe just a little red ribbon on this one. And I just hot glue them on. So I made several to showcase different styles, 
how it can look using different materials. Several could be grouped together or you could have one just stand alone. And I think this one could just be on your mantle just fine by itself. And I'm just adding the one with the burlap bow. And you can see how different it looks with a different candy dish on top with a different bow. And I did use red in all cases here, but it would also look really pretty, say in a royal blue as well, silver, any color that suits your decor. I like this simple, easy project. And when it's done, it actually looks like something. And I think it's pretty cute. You can use it just standalone independently. You can put them together in a cute little grouping. You can give one as a gift. I hope you're inspired to give it a try. It's a super easy project.